Hi guys, this is Mindful Moments Podcast with me, Ban Gathu, and uh, a lovely, my lovely co-host, Wamboyo Tende, and our special guest for today. Please introduce yourself. Oh, sorry, I couldn't have been introduced to myself. Two names is Grace Oji just in case you want to say them better. Uh, but without Mpesa, Shikushi. Lakini uh, napenda kutumia Shikushi. Why Shikushi? Uh, someone nicknamed me so. So Shiko ndiyo ya. Shiko is from Wanjiko. She is from Shikushi. What my man used to call me so. He just called me. Okay. Nice. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you very Karibu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm going to go to the end of the day. Oh, I'm going to go to So, um, yeah, I teach. Okay, anyway. anyway. Um, so, today we are discussing Christianity. Christianity. Uh, this is <laughs> our right. able uh, pastor for the day. Man of God. Our uh, woman of God. So, we're going to do it. Are you not gender, gender <laughs> sensitive? <laughs> yeah, so we thought of having her on board because she's the best fit. So let's discuss Christianity. You introduced me. Um, What's what's the dif- what's what's Christianity and what's religion? What's the difference even? Okay. So Christianity. Um Christianity and religion. So I would say that two different you know, Just to, to look at religion. Uh-huh. Uh, religion is, because Christianity in a Zepandania religion in terms of uh, beliefs and practices. Yeah, we have yeah. said that you know, Hinduism, mm. you know, Muslim, so they are all religions because it's about a, a, a group believing in certain beliefs and practices. Yeah, right? true, true. But now when we come to differentiating Christianity and religion, Christianity is more about Christ and following Christ. Mm. Christianity. Yeah. Uh, Christianity comes is derived from Christ. Mm. And that's why people are called Christians because they are meant to emulate Christ. Christ. And ish, 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 to ish. show story of religion, uh-huh. I would give an example in uh, the Pharisees in the, in the Bible. Mm. Uh, how they were religious. They knew all the commandments. They knew everything. They would fast, they would pray, they would give, they would follow all those things mm-hmm. and become, and they, were, they did religious practices. Mm-hmm. But there was, those religious practices did not give them life as how Christ has given us new life yeah, in yeah. terms of how we do things. Mm-hmm. So we are not, it's like we are not saved by those religious acts, we mm-hmm. are saved because of grace the difference between Christianity and religion. So Catholicism when you want to is very different from what Christ was doing. So first you're saved mm. through, by grace through faith mm-hmm. and not by our own works. Mm. And what the Pharisees were focusing on was the works mm. and thinking that the works would save them. Mm. So Kasai in this time Nika Kujiambia the fact to Muomba, I'm a Christian because missing Islam. I'm a Christian because they're the church, naomba, nafanya, everything good. But those good things are not going to save me. Yeah, true, true, true. What is going to save me is receiving Christ, and now you are given the, you are enabled to actually do Christ. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've kind of answered, but I don't know if I've answered. 
Ume answer now. Eh, what is it enough to just go to church? What does it take for me to say? Nikona a relationship na mungu. Ama mutu wata na kwanga jina relationship na mungu. Because na Christiani tikuena kanisa, kutai, kutua offering, kuomba, kujaju watu. I find a home. Yeah, but yeah, kujaju watu. Um, I think you na ina inenda nisha na kene ni mataku sema. Because zondo kutu wa sewe ngu bilimu. Uh, how to know that you have a relationship with Christ mm-hmm. is that the first thing we have experience, like the the, the 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 thing is that we have to explain this. Okay, watch any part of it. Like, I am born again. Jesus is Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Preach, <laughs> preach, human of God. Can I hear your name? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Um, you will always see a difference because you become alive. And mm. the one thing that I have realized that makes me different is that when you receive Jesus, Holy Spirit and Gen Daniako, and there will always be this war between your flesh and your spirit. It will always be there. You will always be convicted. You will always be aware of sin. Um, you will experience sin differently you will feel some sort of difference your behavior will change um yeah uh then these other things like sasa kuomba ku reward when the church to give um are things that come after they are not what lead us leads us to to Christ mm-hmm. so even going to church which they are meant to be actually necessary Mm-hmm. To be very honest, they are, they are necessary uh, because that's what uh, the Bible talks about. Even when you look at the book of Acts, when as well meet Kwamanyumba, the things that they say is that they were giving to each other, they were into the word, they were into prayer. So those are things and tenets that as a Christian you are meant to, to fellowship with other believers. Yeah. That's when we go to church or have those small groups at the Bible study. Mm-hmm. Because those are the things that will keep you in touch because the more you feel the spirit, the more una grow in Christ. True. The more una feel flesh, the more because of flesh that come. True. Eh, lakini ata kukuwa mkristo, it doesn't necessarily mean you're immune to sin. That's mm-hmm. another thing I think people don't understand. Uh, bado situ wanga tempted, bado kuna trials, kuna tempted, kuna duenda, kuna time. Difference ni ati kuna grace. Uh, no neza kudia. Neza kudia Christ. Wow, wow. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, Continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you kuna kitu kwa tatu sasa umefanya ni sawa sorry ni kwa makaba eh nore nore julia eh gojea gojea sasa umefanya ni sawa abu touch on weaponizing christianity how to people weaponize christianity yeah 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 because people actually yeah. do eh yeah. yeah. it's now it's now it's now a tool niko karibu kufanya Tum tum ah tum 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 so you let's say manipulate people uh, to that extent or or uh if you want to pass a message across but you do not want to be direct so you pick them as a topic and you put reference with the bible 
Unanga watu na preach yango church. Unaweza eh, nini? Unajua tuliko tunafanya hivyo high school. Sasa kama mtu amekukosea eh. the pro, book of proverbs says this uh, kama unakuanga hivi na hivi na hivi unapata kata Kati experience. Kuna msetu alinitumia kama illustration na kuniuliza permission. Wapi kwa church? Kwa kanisa. Ah sio peke yako. Hebu niambie venye alisema. Ah ah hiyo si sema lakini kenye alisema hiko hapo. Tunaambiwa kwa nini? Very personal. Na nina kufunga kwa kenye. You know the way you can Eh by the way. But then you notice a lot of passes do this by the way. No offense. It's not nice if they have a cool consent. I depends with someone. Anyway, I don't know. That's a different topic. Uh, how I don't think what dear God is meant to do is to weaponize people. Mm. Because what it says in scripture is all scripture is God breathed. Yeah, and yeah. It's meant for training, for rebuking, for correcting mm. in right and training in righteousness. Yeah. And I think was a wengi ukunjo to nyanga word for different things. Um either kujinua, um Like, like what people say, I don't know if this is Malcolm or whatever. Malcolm X. History of mass. Religious, religion is something mass. When you are to me, religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you can see it. You can see it. But at least it's what when you to give what to Christ to you. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. Like religion can be used for so many things. Because I guess uh, every one of us is meant to worship. Uh, we have been given a vacuum in ourselves to worship. And so people will use, and your vacuum in an ikufigo na kitu. So if you're not worshiping God, you'll be worshiping something totally different. Mm-hmm. And because what we're shadwa, that is it. Kama ni poverty, kama ni nini, wadatunia religion for that specific purpose. Because religion is not just being used to katakata someone. It's like when you know, uh, it was an idea, so, sisi wote tuna getting wagonjwa sisi wote tuna pigia suffering sisi wote tuna pigia poverty or sisi poverty tuna kwa kadro unemployment all these things factors um so that to bring this i want to bring up a topic in the prosperity gospel if you've seen oseka kanyari ezekiel kina joshua eh because i want to put it kama box moja the prosperity gospel is a false gospel because the gospel seeks to when you can preach about freedom from suffering freedom from poverty mm. health wealth a word of faith your faith is not enough mm. in, uh, for you to move mountains to be whatever for their own gain which means it doesn't focus on god and the purposes of the kwaba so utapata wase wengine watatumia hiyo kwenda maybe una have kutoa do upate healing like what you were telling me before Uh, ama well if you don't do this you can't get you can't get mm, this wealth um uh, by no miracles yes hata miracles zenyewe mm. um hata venye watu vikingi miracles ama wanaingia into relationship issues like when Ezekiel alikuwa na kam anakuambia hivi 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 inatendeka kwa nini maybe atoa bisha ongea lakini amekaa kwa hivi you know mm. it okay so but they are using it in terms of under the umbrella of Jesus which is not even glorifying god in the terms of what is true and the and the true gospel is focusing on uh, the problem of sin mm. meaning mimi kama mwenye dhambi eh ukikamkuniangalia hiyo ndio hiyo ndio the main need yeah the true gospel for christ to come and save us and reconcile us siku tu abia story ya this of to see at ni mbaya kuziviza zitakam So I feel like wase wengi tume bring sure because number one, we don't read scripture for ourselves. True. Yeah. Uh, and kusoma bible ni kazi. Mm. I, I won't say it ni kitu rais ni job. Ni job vibaya. Kuna vitu zitakuwa confusing, kuna vitu zi... lakini if you are determined to search scripture, mm. Holy Spirit atayeni ni back scripture to you. Whether you are a believer or not. Does it mean then that you don't have to be born again so that you can receive the Holy Spirit? No. It means that what the work of the Holy Spirit is to convict us of sin, righteousness and judgment. So even mm-hmm. if you're in the world, you still draw that scripture because it says it is it's alive and active mm-hmm. to draw you to him. 
the uh, only thing, reconciliation yes, yes. yeah okay, yes, okay. that's what I'm, i meant yeah. like it's okay obviously it's a case in jesus mm-hmm. but yeah, exactly that yeah. could convict mm-hmm. the convict one holy spirit even if you're not born again. yeah true yes. true so me muambia ngamsata kama as a believer so my word because it has power to bring mm-hmm. and many people i have seen especially muslims who have come to praise because of that mm-hmm. wow. um yeah so kuna prosperity gospel yeah, prosperity eh jiso me bible yeah um question eh uh, question what the preacher is saying si ku believe kila kitu kitu na kuambia uko tu hata labda ame hata yeye mwenyako ako nje na si wengi wanaanga kwa church zenye ni msendo amejimanify such that You, you don't mm. even hear God. It's through them. No, Everything is through them. You hear mm. God. It's true. And yet God has already made an initial remove your barrier that you can. I'm not saying that pastors are not useful. It's just that they are. They are but, yeah. It's mm. just that we have the initiative as the word says we should be the reins. Unaenda una search Jesus scripture. Hata mpasia ki preach pale si tu rudi. Was he saying the truth or was he saying uh, things that were not right? And I love the fact when you go to the Bible church. Yeah, and which church is this? Nairobi Baptist Convention. Wow, nice. Who's uh, your head pastor? Ah. Uh, Reverend Mwenye. Evelyn. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you. Yeah. There's this Martin thing Bonnie. that we Christians do. We guilt trip those who are not believers. For example, eh uh, like when we say <coughs> I'm a believer in nini but I don't go to church because I don't trust the church. Then we take it upon ourselves as Christians who go to church to make these people feel bad for their decisions yeah. for not going to church. Ama as a Christian you shouldn't do this. As, as in you're just being tripped but you know where mwenyewe you are not there yet. You probably need help. I'm a just guidance oh, okay. through it. But then Mm-hmm. I don't think Christians are meant to judge non-believers. Reason being, mtu mwenye haja patana na Christ, unamjudge as you. Na hata kuna wenye wamejuana na wamepatana na Christ yet. Sawa, sasa cha turudi hapo. Kuna njia mbili. We are uh, as of eh uh, ki Pasha ni sasa. Patia, patia scripture pasi. Wakorindo wa Beles. Chapter eh Kama hali. Kama hali ka So the story basically is about a man who eh uh, had sexual immorality stuff with the father's wife. Na alikuwa born again. So he mate ikapelekwa kwa kanisa and Paul was trying to address it. Mm-hmm. And one of the verses cuz pasi wengi sema ng mambo ya kujajiana. Um acha nisome from verse 9 to 13. Mm-hmm. So I wrote to you in my letter not to associate with sexual immoral people. Not at all means the sexual immoral of this world or the greedy swindlers or idolaters since then you would need to go out of the world but now i'm writing to you not to associate with anyone who bears the name of brother if he is guilty of sexual immorality or greed or any idolater drunkard or swindler not even to eat with such one for what i have so in the question for what have i to do with judging an outsider is not those inside the church whom you are to judge god just judges the outside but the evil person from among you so basically we are as christian we are allowed to judge each other but not in a judgment here to pass i don't know how to explain eh uh, judging any na manisho hapa ni to keep each other in check what do you mean in check in check is in terms of we work together as a family you no know, no now christians we have our own beliefs sasa unajua kama hii na love hiyo ni different you sasa mimi nafikiria because mm. ukisema we are allowed to judge each other there is a way mimi i know ama i think a christian should behave so i will try to impose it on you so see me mm. nothing mimi nataka inafaa kwa kwa scripture mm-hmm. na get so let's say for example 
ni menot eh umero di section immorality as another believer whom you you your part like to say to copa bs moja na ni mono na ndaibo na maybe you just keep to change to change i must come and approach you man eh cuz na kupenda na hiyo ndio mandate pia mimi nimepata kwa mkristo according to word kukufuatilia bali kikufuatilia si fake kukam na ukali eh inafaa kukua out of gentleness uh, as galatians says uh, bear with each other's burden like you walk with this person slowly our problem is we go and kashifu someone mm. in a way that umemkatakata mtu akiwa kwa hiyo state already anakuiwa na shame anakuiwa na guilt mm. akulona hizi vitu zote na get so already ana feel judged true so ukikam kumpatia yako mm. yet unafa anafa ku feel anakurudi tena is, is what i'm not for i don't know if that judgment makes sense but i know christians are very judgmental because they don't show grace as god yeah. has shown us grace mm-hmm. and i know many people have been hurt by the church many people have been left the church many people have decided with this like anything to, to do, do with the church, church yeah. itaomba kwa nyumba yangu nitaona someone kwa tv nafanya hivyo vitu kai hizo mm-hmm. because of the people but um me being one of those people in the pitia church rules Uh, and it took a while and I'm, i'm i'm for taking that break it's important to take that break but i'm also for belonging into a church because mm. that's how the bible says mm. that we need to belong to a church na church imanishi kila mtu ni perfect nikave niko kwa family yenu na uko na brother na sister i'm uko perfect mtakuwa na brother rivalry and hizo vitu zote and when a christ and make and make to make to kwa ka family na get and there is importance of it and i have tested that importance now sisi hata ni kwa babu church ni bene sasa tuseme wewe ni believe ni believe to go family and i've experienced that community aspect mm-hmm. uh, of of what christ and vision when he says they will know we are christian by our love mm-hmm. yeah, and yeah. and mimi ule msisi tambia tu wako wa chapel na church by the way i think people should go to the church mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it's just that the way church is doing a repel what away from it mm. but i am of the thought that i should be the change i want to see mm. even mm. if i have been hurt and ukiangalia christ is a he is a very counter culture person okay if i sisi tutataka ku revenge sisi tutataka kufanya hizi vitu but what he's talking about is that we need to forgive each other we need to love each other mm. aseme tuko my best is but anasema we should care for each other so i'm i'm for I'm for atokija uh, tukijajiana which I don't think it is a Christian way uh, I think our rebuke should be out of love and gentleness and I know maybe at a minute may fall into it because of self righteousness mm-hmm. um nimekatakata wase nime nimeumiza watu for real eh unakatangaza una judge mse na ni pasi maje <laughs> so does it uh, I have a sinful nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the but God is human, working. Yeah. Like it's, we are all a working progress and I think uh, every day you you are being made to be Christ like. Yeah. So the moment una realize kitu na una work on it the more God and the more you change. So um I found people easy they are, they easily come to me because ni ya kutoa hiyo kitu because really jambia the money na jaja si i felt me myself I felt because mm. of my self righteousness mm. um and that's what even the pharisees used to have because you, you already know everything so kotusa eh kotusa nili realize me pia na dunda na nili dunda vibata na sana and so i realized being shown that grace i wouldn't want to judge mm-hmm. uh mlebo sapa mm. <laughs> so na mchukua na tembea na yeye tuna tunatembea pamoja kwa safari mpaka tufike home okay so okay. I'm, i'm i'm actually not for that thing of passion yeah it's 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 not me i think a lot of christians have left church because of such things mm-hmm. being judged bash uh, you know being talked about in mm-hmm. church you know uh personally my own personal story you find that everyone is talking about you and 
like there's nobody coming to ask are you okay how are you dealing with it everyone is just busy telling you how you should live your life how everything should go and nobody cares if are you really okay how weighs your heart about this matter you know everyone is coming to tell you you know i dreamt god said you know i i i know eh me na wana pele unaenda ni vibaya actually if you do this i see good things so you should do this you know and this is their uh, let's say their car small desire you know quote and quote eh uh, maybe even the wange wa wangetaka ku deal na situation but they are not me so at the same time you project exactly yeah, your insecurities now yeah, are yeah, yeah. 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 i have seen that like mm-hmm. unapata msema i have seen that like unapata msema kwambia eh uh, you should not do this and even they put scripture and even tell you how god they have told her. they have been like been told by god but in real sense it's something that they may not they may be wanting to do but they are not like fully comfortable with it you know mm. yeah so i think if uh actually if sisi kama christians to realize that the person who hurt you yes it's a human being like like yourself and as you're coming to church you're not coming to worship that person you're coming to worship god. excuse me to worship god you know and this will remove the thing of i can only go to a certain church i can only maybe like watch online cause like you can interact na watu you know cause scripture says do not um um a uh, community of believer do, do not, not forsake yeah yeah, yeah. In Hebrews, yes yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. so uh ingekuwa best if people now as you're saying read the word for themselves you know they know really what scripture you know yeah so i w- something we've touched on enough in the kumsha kitu that um kuna ile mtu akikamu kwa coach na kwa coach aje mmm na kama receiver mmm naitoka ni chukwaje mmm uh, sometimes as a person unaweza kwa mseme kama in a gentle way no for the buyer it may actually mean that your heart, the position of your heart you're not, re- you're not you're receptive not, you're not receptive mm, true. to the true, fact true, that true, true. you're being rebuked mm. um meaning you have tried to, yes you you already think you're right yes. so you should not be told yes so i've, I've realized kuna kwanga it's a two way thing yeah. it's a two way thing mm. mimi nikikam kwambi wa mary ready to be told the truth mm. because sometimes we are not ready mm. <laughs> or rather umesema mm. umekaa gumu umejia bia goro yako ni kimawe sitaki kubadilisha hii mm. you know so utakuwa ready kwambi wa utaona ngaumse anakukatakata but initially when they were coming to you This is me it was not intentional. And that your heart was is in a place where it's already in a catacato that you are broken and then someone comes, comes and, and adds exactly. uh, yeah so it's even more it, worse. It is worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a two way thing. Wao msaki kampu kuambia anakuambia na gentleness. Mm-hmm. Na anakubeba pole pole. Now I have seen pastors who have done that. Mm. Um you know how we say we have a thorn in the flesh? Mimi nimekuwa mimi niko na kifuni. Na watu wenye nimebonga nao about that thorn wametembea na mimi mm. i've not had wow. stories outside i've not you know like yeah, i'm a, from them i know it's not them we've had mtu mwingine mm-hmm. but those people have walked with me mm-hmm. and i've never felt what like come kuniambia kitu mm-hmm. they are saying kuni, in a bad way in a bad way yeah. wananiambia ndio ni change mm-hmm. And kuna wengine watu watakwambia my friend ni pasta na kuambia lakini unaona tu hapa hakuna hakuna mungu hapa hapa hakuna mm. mungu mm. yeah and so when someone comes at you utajua mm-hmm. mm. and the spirit has to bear witness with be, what they are saying you will just know i need to change for sure mm-hmm. yeah sure but you kitu mesema ni legit kabisa kabisa mm. kabisa uh, yeah. there's a book i recommend if you can read it's called what's so amazing about grace by philippians it's actually about church needs to practice grace and when you mongani mekumuka kasuri ka flani ka mother flani alikuwa ni mtu divorce na asee kwa kanisa wamekuja kumwambia wamemkashifu wamemwambia hata wamulizi ni nini ile hapa eh tukafika kwa where you hear how nini 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 hata labda alikuwa anauliwa na mbona church is supporting the divorce baby kwa nini kanisa ina ina well because the doctrine well yes i do imesema i do not divorce uh, sawa lakini sasa ingine unapatanga you are in a marriage that gosh it is either my life or my mm. die you know okay let me let me put it this way 
scripture in itself uh, says actually that, that God hates because mm-hmm. that is in Mika, 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 Samu, Nakuwa Kodani, Lakini si Mika, Mika, Mika. Uh, he talks about how he hates demons. Yeah. And then we find Jesus talking about it, I think in Luke chapter 19 or something there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and he says, divorce in the calm is not the will of God, to be very honest, because marriage is something that depicts uh, Christ as, as, as the groom and church as the bride. Mm-hmm. And, and he doesn't like that that mm-hmm. disconnect mm-hmm. because it's meant to show the love of Christ or the love of God. True, true. But anasema hizi vitu zilikam kwa sababu tuli harden our hearts and also is because of sin. Divorce mm. is just necess- basically because of sin. And it was allowed because of that. And anapatia na the reasons why people should actually divorce. Mm. And he says, of course, kama mtu ni unfaithful Buddha, na kapo mm. nikidu. But sas, because kuna history ya kuchapwa, <laughs> ni jaunesha kwa Bible, mi imagine kusema kuku ni sita ni ya mtu wakai. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would just tell someone leave. And if, if, if your life is at stake, it's important to leave. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you to stick there. Uh, but kuna zenye watu wame piganana na waka reconcile yeah, na yeah, nika change. Yeah, mm-hmm. So sometimes it depends, with, it depends mm-hmm. with the situation. Yeah. And it also depends kama you are mature enough as a Christian to be to allow to be rebuilt. Those two people to be rebuilt or to be corrected. Mm-hmm. Whichever. And wafike please ya forgiveness because i think mm-hmm. the whole entire thing about christ of about christ it was a kusameana yeah. na kuweza kutrustiana na kupenda na tena mm-hmm. that is his, his thing mm-hmm. and love comes with forgiveness because it says love it does not keep a record of wrongs mm-hmm. so i wouldn't i'm not saying that ni church person na kata story of divorce ni what scripture says but I know they, they do look at if things are not working out, hakuna mm-hmm. hata. Yeah? Uh, I think the one you would say, church, iko nini ya kurimari. So come on. Yeah, baby. Ume divorce, story ya kurimari. So there are other pastors I've seen that have um, allowed people to remarry. Mm-hmm. There are others in a different circumstance. Because what in a sema ukirimari, na mtu badu wako alive, you're actually committing at that. Uh, and I think people don't understand that because either at which understand marriage is a covenant. Yeah. So you took a contract. You have not understood. Yeah. If you have not understood the meaning of it, especially mm. if you are a Christian, in the Christian context, please do not mm. even enter. You're not ready. Yeah, um, because it's not a contract thing. Life and death. Yeah. It's because of what it depicts, mm-hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. But now just saying you're going to contract. You don't know if you're going to do that. That's how each generation to live. Three months later, no, I did not sign up for this. I love to go and maybe in India to have sex. Um, That's right. Legally. Legally. And it's, it's covenanted, mm. and it's not gonna be a guilty thing. That machine and the No, but we're not here because of that. So no one will not be there for the right reasons. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, hey, oh, hey, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, God to. Yeah. Just, just, you know. I forget. I I book a good translation. I book a good kikuyu na kuaga ina ko ni moyo. So, it's just wonderful. God told me I prayed and the Lord showed me that he's my husband. Hey. I'm, I'm a, the, the preacher I'm actually fixes you. Uh, I prayed and the Holy Spirit showed me that that is your wife. She do Please be in church. <laughs> no, no, no. Um Mini me actually ni me witness see you too. When I was young there's a dude to me patana na yeye kwa streets. Na kwenye tajiri shisha. Eh utakuje. Akaniambia oh utakuje ni busa busa. Akaniambia good. Sikupenda akaniambia ati nimesikia Mungu akinionyesha that you're going to be my wife. Akiyote ni kwa miani ni nene kwa dadadi. 
So if mtu akikuja kusema ameabiwa pia Mungu ameweza kuja niogereshe aniabie same same mm-hmm. so kama sijasikia Mungu akisema ni wewe peke yako is not correct but your spiritual Jabba. father is telling you lakini hata prophecy ikisema by the way the bible says we are meant to go back if it's not in line with scripture that's yeah, a, yeah that's it's null and void ana kama ita kama tu ni kama wewe ujaguzwa na Mungu anaogelesha kila mtu siwe peke yako unaogelesha nyama eh wewe akikuwa akiogelesha pasta unamwambia Mungu hata mimi niogelesha tu huyu si hiyo hiyo communication si atumefunga God will talk to you and he talks to everybody in whatever manner and i don't think is right how people use that many people use it to manipulate um danganya watu kwenye into certain things Mm, I just Kama ukipata wa prophecy it says in 1 John chapter 4 test every spirit. spirit. Test every spirit. Just don't accept everything and everything and anything that comes to you. Test every spirit. So sapo kwa ku test every spirit. Um I don't know if I'm taking it too fast but uh so how do you like test? Yeah, now it to the extent of would you like how do you know babo is not a cult mm-hmm. and it's a true church of god so 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 tunatoka kwa yesa tumeenda tumekimbia so it's okay sawa to let's go this is one of my favorite topics um cuz i as much as nimeuliza na church na nini i still find that church is was it the same church yes wow yes. and you still went back to the same and church still went to the same church yes true ekona roho ama kwa nambili washa niwaambie nika hivi nikadiliza itaenda kanisa kingine nianze nianze scratch nianze scratch nipate siasa ya huko ni sirika na familia yenye already najua vile ina operate na niombe you know i pray for it i be the change i want to see that's what i usually say be the change you want to see even in this country be the change you want to see anyway uh when you say about kanisa how do i know it's not a cult number one, is the true gospel being preached and what i mean by that is is it focusing on christ because the word of god begins with jesus and ends with jesus mm-hmm. genesis true. True. revelation is purely about old testament new testament is about jesus and it's about me being to be able to see my sin and see my savior and receive him wow. into my life and if no one is rebuking me and telling me of my problem of sin so that i receive this christ and live that life he wants and for christ to be seen in me since in the church so if they are not preaching the gospel to show me the fall of my sin to show me who god is and why christ came and mm. what i am meant to do as a response of faith and repentance then i i don't know why i am in that church secondly mm. are they preaching the word So unaweza pata ah si wa prosperity wata kuzidia Jesus hapo ndani but Jesus is not the focus. Mm. Mm. It's, it's them and so God and Jesus na God na kwa a means of getting what you want mm. but not the focus of who he is. Mm. So if you're not preaching to me by the um, we call it biblical theology in terms of you're not bringing scripture to me you're not uh, doing expository or exposing the scripture to me. Yeah, yeah. In the context that it is because about prosperity preachers who come to verse kamoja when it was out of context when I make a whole theology Some of you it. Know, it. Yeah, yeah. How to me other parts of the bible. So number one, the gospel number two, 
do they expose scripture? Are they uh, preaching the entirety of the scripture mm -hmm. from Genesis to Revelation? So to say, for example, Imwaka, how many books have you read? I think go to Tumefanya. But anyway, kama unaguzilia kitabu kwa Old Testament, unaguzilia kwa New Testament, hivyo, are they mixing it to show you ego, mambo ya God ndani yake. Uh, secondly, community is very important. Um, even if they hurt me, one or the other, um, that community is big. Um, it's a student to explain that. Minimum na community kikamu kifumi. In good times, in bad times. And ka community hai fani zo vitu zine ume request yu ifani kwa scripture the misses ika kana yu ni. Nona ka bini mkuma sema tu seme community ni ya kusenge nyana ni ya kukata kakamse ni ya kukuli the street instead of leading you to Christ tuko tu kutuna pigana nanga why should they be there? Ama kuna a certain form of pretense that you're doing those things that have been said in the word you know and I'm like it's not even genuine it's not coming from your heart I'm like I'm on a judge, but how do you solve that conflict in church? Mm. Hey, by so, the way, because um, I actually I've seen uh, a couple of my friends, mm. uh, two who got separated, mm. and others who had issues with their spouses mm. even before getting married, and how it was dealt with mm. was so bad that they had to leave church. And this was from the administration. Imagine. You know. And I'm like, okay, these are the people that should be leading in showing grace, in showing us like you know, like like salik nona kama pasi, na fani kwani hikam kwako, of eko kinyambia, you're wrong, or five. You know, una fako kinyambia, okay, fine. Could we call the other person and just like sit down, talk about it, eh? Can we mend things up? Can we what can we do to make this better? You know, not trying to pick a side, you know, even if it's not openly, but you already um, na pick side, yes. you know, as in if I could do such a thing, you see. Una skiza, eh, una, una, una terrible yeah. reconcile yeah. and stuff like that, you know, and not also passing judgment, like, ata uja maza kuskia, what's going on already, usha jua, when you see you are wrong, mm. you are bad or whatever, you know, if I could do in my opinion, you know, yeah. Um also mm -hmm. uh what did I want to say? Theatrics. Mm -hmm. theatrics. No, wait, wait, wait first <laughs> before theatrics. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, which which I've seen a lot of maybe they mean you can and you theatrics, I'm like eh, okay. <laughs> 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 so, okay. What if uh let's say church XYZ is doing everything right from genesis to revelation they are doing everything nini nini but behind this curtain there is a whole closet of skeletons of huge dinosaurs as you can see everything is light is perfect is okay but explain skeleton like thanks <laughs> like unona vile uh, let's say like what this passi maybe preaches about gambling and being in debt ni gambler legit una get like anakud anakwambia don't don't do this or maybe don't sleep around don't do this this is wrong let's go for you eh, but behind closed doors they are doing it not once, not twice, multiple times, consistently, you know. Then, then, then that's the thing. I don't know how to answer this, but okay. How many letters, how many letters do you have to go to the church? Because we had one scenario, for example, with mm. Rabbi Zacharias. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When uh, the entirety of what he was saying mm. and, and his what? life was totally different. Because I'm particular on charges more bizarre. Was it a 
One thing I need to tell people is that these people you see in the, on the pulpit, as much as they are meant to be held in high regard, they are human. human and they can pray. Mm. And if a church has a better structure, like for example, that's why we have elders. And that's why I think I like my church structure because the person is not at the Mkubwa. We as the members are meant to hold him. Um, mm. We are meant actually to pray for our pastors, and I don't know if we do pray for them. They are, they are praying for them, but they are intentionally like we need to pray for those people. They yeah. are always under attack from the enemy. Mm. Um, even him, he needs to have someone to be accountable to. Mm. Mm-hmm. And most pastors don't have people to go and share because Musata feel Manze Mika Pasina struggle na it is a bit shameful. It's 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 guilt na mimi ndo nafa kwa nikilid this flock. Mm. Mm. So yeah, I I just need to tell people to know that they are also humans. Yeah. Um now when when And God uses everyone and anyone. Yes. Yes. Yeah, true, yes. true, true, true. Atta 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 funny enough we don't know if God does use anything that he created. Even, even say that. Oh God, for real? Yes. If you look at the book of Job, you see Job alienda naka, kitena kama kama God atamani yeye. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yes, he does. He does. Um, Goja, kuna kitu kwa sana sana kwa 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 sana but say ya ya pasi in a in a way that either ni PSC to Nafana Kama or Christo Hat and you're not holding him accountable. What if I'm a Jeka above in a way that he's quote unquote beyond reproach? I won't send any to quote with fire. But I, I, I don't think Kwambia Mutu a step down is a bad thing. Especially if you approach them, there's a there's a system of how scripture has given in terms of approaching someone when they're in that state. First, Mamuiza, okay, are you going through this? Nakatai. Bring to a pili, mujaribu ku intervene, nakatai. Mwende kwa kanisa. Mwambia mse tuna need to intervene kwa mse akatai. Apo sasa mm, like, yeah. like there's a process of, and that's the other thing, practice of church discipline. So mm-hmm. if a church is not practicing church discipline, I'm not seeing any evangelism, I'm not seeing any conversion, I'm in that church. You know. Uh, yeah. So, pasia okay. nafaku kwa, as, as much as ako uko, gyo mana kuna faku kwa na elda so, shiko mse. Na kifika place a jiski mbuda, Kama me, everything else has been done na menini, you start treating that person as an unbeliever, someone you need to reach out to as a believer. But I don't think kuna, uh, and what they say even if is very true, like what you're saying behind I don't think sasa tu wache kubeliever to tuwa he was teaching a fake thing because for me even when Ravi, those things happen whatever he taught was actually true Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 it's the word, and still, it's the, still word. the word. Mm-hmm. So the word doesn't change. But if the person has, then he has to step up. Mm-hmm. But so, so, so it means if this person is laying hands on you and praying for you, then he's just transferring whatever <laughs> is going on. Is true, actually? Like spiritual head, like I could never hear my passy will be <laughs> praying. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna transfer that, even that's why the authority, you yeah. Know. So, hmm. you see, <laughs> but. When God gives gifts, they are irrevocable. Most of the gifts they are preaching, maybe most of these canary people, when they are not poor, they are jiffy, 
kwa kwa self pressure so kwa disable na wakaanza ku hata kuwekea mkono na fanya zina theatrics wengine wanaenda kushukusha eh na nikala hapo mikono na chali Yes, actually, the same, uh, the same things that you see in the kingdom of God is the same thing. The same thing. You, you the will actually of darkness. replicate mm. those things, but you, you can know what is genuine and what, what is, is not. Genuine with how you are walking with God in spirit. But I just want to say, you always need to carry a corner of prayer. Um, but you know, when God accuses, we say, even if you talk to us. Even when people are in a mess. David. Yes. Like, yes, exactly like David. Because he uses... He uses... He uses people. Um, and... Come on to see him repentant. Because if you're repentant... Then everything is okay. Actually, I think in the book of... Uh, was it... Which one was it? I think in the book of Psalms or something. Uh, it's a it's a habitual sinner, yes. you know. So if you're a habitual sinner, then I think yes, it's happened in a way issue because uh, God has extended grace and mercy to us, but we try and show Him that, yo, you know what? I can do this and over and over again because you still forgive me. So you know, uh, I have principles, and I think this happened to you most uh, fake pastors and fake whatever have done, have mastered is the principles. So they have mastered the principle of if it's given, so they know if they give this amount, they will pick, they'll uh, trigger something according to scripture and it will work for their benefit. You know, They will teach people in a certain way, they will work with a certain charisma up on Bele Equa Alta and people will be like, wow, and guys, you know, they'll speak with a certain deep voice and guys will be convicted. Yeah. But it, deep inside them, they are empty. They just really? be in principles, you know, which is actually really wrong. Do you know. not an unbeliever can, can exercise the principles of scripture and they still will work. Exactly. Like, we have seen other, other, other people in other religions doing so many other things like believing in their prophets, uh, uh, which one... Uh, giving money to their gods and all that and it works for them but now to us christians we believe it is prayer and uh, you know intercession and reading scripture and all that because tell me why most of our in- intercessors are the ones who are the poorest and somebody who's out there and just living their life and casually tithing to a certain church they are prospering you know because they have understood a certain kind of principle that you know uh, us who maybe are praying to enforce them and have not understood okay that brings us different thing because i think god and the people are in certain spaces for some reason mm-hmm. you always see there is the rich and the poor you see see it's just that you know rich and poor in that uh for example, you might find someone who has been gifted, has been gifted the gift of healing, can mm. pray for others to get healed, but they have mm. actually a chronic disease. Mm. They themselves. And sometimes we might not know why God does that, mm. and we do not have answers for why. Um, that God puts people in such spaces. Mm. So, when I was saying, 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 I but they are very content with how they are, and somehow God just provides for those mm. people. Uh, and they pray for people's lives to get transformed. That's, that's, that's just crazy. It's just thing. This is this amount of understand. Yeah, things of God are not. Not to a place. God am I to give to give? Na kini where where? Ata marriage yako. Una pray yawa tu marriage yoi na wag. Like kini yako iko in jambos. Ume ume uba ume fast ume na kwa mungu ume guy. Karibu ni kwa taka kubre God umambe mazizi yake. Wakata kama tu misukuta tu. You know, kama wiki moja. Still doesn't. And sometimes God gives you that so that you may depend. Like what First Corinthians twelve, where Paul got a thorn of the flesh. 
and he kept asking God to remove it. And what God that command is in door, the command is grace is sufficient for you. Mm-hmm. And I come to about uh, in your weakness, God and you can mm-hmm. be strong because He's the one who enables you to do to go through those things. And it's sometimes not okay to talk, but you know, mm-hmm. what they do. but yes, I think, like I said before, that the enemy can, can do mimic or not. Yeah. There are people who have... It's not a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a Depending on how you can do it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. But the Holy Spirit is talking to you. It's talking through you to me. I can't do it. 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 I Exactly, story of Christ. Um, he, how will I say? he does not. The way people have seen that what one anguka, one was scared of him. He's he's a gentle person. And the panic of commander, and I'll go down. <laughs> So, kuna patia, kuna patia spiritual warfare, and I know that is one thing that I think people are really, really scared about. Yeah. But in the spiritual warfare, kuna tenya defense, kuna tenya offense, right? Mm-hmm. Just like any other war. And as you look at the armor of of God in Ephesians chapter six, kuna zile vitu zenyeniza offense na kuna zile za defense. And one of the offense is the word of God. Mm. So you see the sword. Yeah. The rest of the things are actually mm. for defense. Mm. Yeah. yeah, they are fully, uh, yeah. And when you say about theatrics, I have seen legit like this with my own eyes. I think at a maybe my part of it. Uh, we were in a prayer service, and uh, this lady had come. Uh, from a different country. Na kumbe hakuwa anajua watu wenye nishi nao na mpudia. Na spirits. Za hizo zina kongo kweli? Zina kongo kweli. Za kutupa spirit. Yes. Aje? It can be in any form. It can maybe hata mnaweza kakatu hivi in the space yenye uko or eh msemeni na kwa mchawi mchawi. Amekuniza eh, vitu maybe ni kwa food bla bla bla. That's why you are meant to be a part of the family. So, one day, Ali Kam, Kumbe, at the to Major, to Kansa Kuma, the Pasi called for an attack. It was the first thing that, first time it has ever happened in that church. We? He didn't suggest the Kuma, 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 Meaning people at Akwana. Uh-huh. Let me tell you the prayers that were made in that place. Who made them at Akwana? So when they saw people say, "Mati, I'm not funny, funny," Akwana, funny, funny, is so beautiful. Okay. Oh yeah. And let me tell you the Thank moment you know. I li- your spirit we talk up, they mali really akat. Una cheka kani koko ina confused state. Niko happy. What's happening? And what is happening? <coughs> because there's a difference between being possessed and oppressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
is to possess the Kuja, Kuja Patana na Christ. Because a Christian is not possessed, he's actually oppressed. Mm -hmm. And she was being oppressed by a different spirit. Either mm -hmm. she opened a door and she didn't repent of her sins, and she didn't repent of her sins. She didn't have a script that said this person was in the spirit of God. She didn't have a new spirit, 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 she didn't have a new spirit. So sometimes we do open doors if we don't repent of our sins. Mm -hmm. And so I do believe in witchcraft is there, but I wouldn't give it power because the Lord has said, greater is he who is in the, in your heart than he who is in the world. Mm -hmm. And he has given us that dominion to do, to, to cast because we have the Holy Spirit. And kuna counterfeit, for sure. Shaitan utumia all manners who limit what God has done. Thank you for watching this is Mindful Moments with me, Wamboyo Tende, and Ban Gathi when he left, and uh, our beautiful, beautiful uh, our friend, Nseme, Nseme guest. Pastor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. I was, yeah, thank you. I was, uh, <laughs> thank international you. calls. And bye. Tell me, Aisha. Bye.